So here's a piece of copper that doesn't look like copper because it's been plated with a layer of zinc metal. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. Here are the basic components. A strip of copper metal. This is called a power supply. It provides electricity. I have a solution. It has within it zinc sulfate ions. Here's a beaker. Here's a bar of zinc. I need what are called two electrodes. One will be copper and one will be zinc. I'm pouring the solution that has zinc sulfate into my beaker. You can see it's colorless. Now I'll immerse this electrode. So there's the zinc electrode. It's about half submerged in the solution. I'm going to hook the zinc to this red wire and the copper to the black wire. So now on the electrical I'll flip the switch and the light goes on showing that electricity can now flow. So now here's the copper. It's not in the solution yet. The power supply is on, voltage is on, so current will flow when I immerse this. And there are some bubbles forming here, and the copper will begin changing color. Some bubbles form, and the copper begins changing color. You may be able to tell that the copper color is turning gray, silver gray, as the copper gets coated with zinc metal. So this is what is meant by zinc plating. Covering up the original metal with a layer of a different metal. Here are my preliminary results. You can see the copper. Here's the zinc on the surface of the copper. It's not, it's not thick or anything, but it is a thin layer of zinc metal atop the copper. So, in this case, zinc plating copper is not very useful, but it is a good demonstration. To make it useful, uh, there are many things you can plate. So, for example, you could do gold plating. Then it would look like gold on the surface. Underneath it would not be gold, but on the surface it would be gold. So that's used for decorative purposes and sometimes for electrical purposes. Uh, you can do nickel plating, which will protect things from corrosion. Zinc plating is used on some structural materials like iron nails. They're called galvanized because it helps protect them from rusting. If your house is made of iron nails that rust, it'll fall apart. If you galvanize the nails, coat them with zinc, then they last a lot longer. I'm rotating here, which helps get an even layer of the zinc on all sides of the copper. It's probably pretty good now. It's been a minute or two. There's my decent layer of zinc plating on a sheet of copper. I'll shine it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here are my results after shining up the zinc. It looks pretty nice. Um, so now I'll reverse the wires. Put the red on the copper and the black on the zinc. And we'll see what happens. So these are processes of oxidation and reduction. So this is an application of redox chemistry. So you may be able to see here that the zinc is now coming off of the copper. And uh, there it is shrinking away. So again, that's explicable in terms of oxidation and reduction. It's beautiful. This side has just a little bit of zinc. The other side, almost all the zinc is gone. Nice.